that means you, Justin. So yeah, obviously I have no responsibility over what my people watch, and I mean, aside from swearing and excessive cartoony gore, it's not like this is going to be the worst game you could ever watch, but yeah. Uh, this is one of those games that, uh, obviously not really meant for kids, despite the fact that it has a cute exterior. So, with that said, um, this sure is Conker's Bad Fur Day. If you may recall, um, back in, I think it was 2012, April Fool's Day, I uploaded a single segment to this, and, uh, did not make it clear that I was, I basically was acting as if I was going to continue the entire game, and then I didn't. And, uh, now I'm going to actually do it, because... Hey, I want to. Also, there's Banjo's hut up there. <clears throat> so, uh, I actually have this on the console now, thanks to the donator, who, once again, the name I forget, I think it's Gase420, something like that. Um... I don't actually know if there's already files on here. I'm assuming there are, but let me see what this does. Yeah, this one has stuff on it. Have an empty one? Yes, we do. So we're doing game two. <clears throat> and so, uh, I'll probably talk a little bit over the opening cutscene, but, uh, I'll at least give it somewhat of a view here. Oh, also, I suppose it would make sense if I actually looked at the game on the uh, TV proper instead of XSplit, so let me go change that. There we go. So yeah, if you remember then, um, in my original video of this, uh, the eyebrows were not down. Uh, because the emulator apparently had issues with textures in this game. So Conker was just staring very wide-eyed into the viewers. Which I didn't realize was an issue, because I w w was not, like, intimately familiar with this cutscene or anything. I also feel like this cutscene is probably a reference to something, but I don't know what. Conquer the king. King of all the land. Who'd have thought that? But how did I come to this, I hear you say? And who are those strange fellows that surround my throne? I hear you also say. Well, it's a long story. Come closer, and I'll tell you. It all started yesterday. And what a day that was. It's what I call... A bad fur day. Hoping audio balance is okay. Um, the way I'm recording this, I don't have a way to edit that in post, because we're both, like, the game audio and my talking are both going to be on the same track. So, hoping that it comes out okay. If it doesn't, um, I can try to change it in future episodes. We did a little bit of t testing, though, and it seemed all right. So I guess uh, whenever there's subtitles, it doesn't really matter if I talk, but it's not like I really have too much to talk about here anyway. Um, other than just to make everything clear, in my uh, April Fool's video of this, I was basically acting as if I had seen nothing of the game, or like I had only seen the very beginning or something like that. And uh, that was not true, because even though I have never played this game, I have uh, watched a couple LPs of it. It's been at least a year now, because, uh, like, a as I had recorded that, which again was in 2012, I think it was, it might have been 13, I think it was 2012, um, I'm trying to think, it doesn't, what, what it doesn't freaking matter, whatever year it was, I had seen, like, at least one playthrough of this before that, but, uh, obviously I didn't, like, memorize everything about it. 
and there's also the Conquer King channel, which is uh, the actual developers of the game commentating over it. You get some interesting uh, behind-the-scenes stuff from that, and just British people joking around, which is always fun. So I obviously recommend that if you haven't seen it yet, but uh, this is just going to be kind of a not quite blind, but not exactly professionally rehearsed type LP. And I know I have the ability to skip cutscenes if you've seen them before. I don't know if it counts if it was on a different file. Um, so stuff like this, which has already been in the first video, I probably could skip. But I mean, I'm going to treat this as its own separate entity, so... The cutscenes are kind of what make this game. So if you've already seen them before, then I mean... Oh well. Like I said, most people probably remember this game for the humor and the dialogue and the raunchiness and not the exciting gameplay where you do a thing and then you do it three more times. Which is something I'll probably be bitching about quite a bit later on, but I uh, have to wait for it to become a problem before I can start complaining about it. Did I make a... Uh, like, Dr. Weird's Laboratory South Jersey Shores reference here last time this cutscene played. I know I did in my, uh, old Oracle of Seasons playthrough that lasted, like, eight videos. But, yeah. More milk, sire? This game has the most retarded plot. You gotta love it, though. I'm also not sure how I feel about these graphics. Like, for N64 standards, they're really good. But they also have that kind of weird... What do you call it? Like, squashing quality that DK64 has, which I always kind of hated. Like, I think I mentioned this last time, too, about how there's kind of, like, a visual difference between the two Banjo games and DK64, where DK just kind of seems a little bit less polished. Like, the graphics are still fine, but it has this weird squashing and skewing and just... I don't even know what you'd call it. Some of the sprites are a bit blurrier. And this seems to be on the same lines of that one, but I mean, it still obviously looks really good for 64-bit. Like, you could almost pass this off as early GameCube. Maybe not in terms of polygons, but models are still quite good. I can't use that thing yet. You have to go around. Insert bitching here about, oh, this part takes so long, oh my god. This is actually where I'm supposed to go, right? Speed run the entire game without ever getting out of this phase, even though that's completely impossible. Do it anyway. I thought this scene was supposed to be in the daytime. I, I need to get home and go to bed because I don't feel very well at all. Oh, no, no. Oh, so you can't help me at all. Uh, uh, actually, yeah. Uh, yes, I can. Maybe. This voice acting. Hey, okay. what's your name? Beardy. Beardy. I you feel like Beardy. the people no. doing these voices like Beardy. legitimately are drunk yeah, or having problems oh, when they're recording okay, this. Beardy. Like I know that's what they're going for, but oh. my God. Can you help me? Right. That's the boy. So I asked a second ago, I thought this was supposed to be daytime. Um, It might very well be, and then this TV is just exceptionally dark when running in 64 games. I guess we'll find out in a minute. You see those buttons? 
Because it is darker than when I was looking at it on XSplit. I'll have to play with that later on. <laughs> they just sound like so half-assing it, like, I, well, that's not even the right term, but just obviously Conker's drunk. I'm not sure what the hell Birdie's deal is. How, what does that mean? It means contact sensitive. It's sensitive to contacts. Fuck off, crows. Okay. Are you gonna try it again? If you do it again, does he get another drink? Oh yeah, the helium. I forgot about that. That is so not even a helium voice. And nope, beer again. Okay, can I skip this? Nope. I'm gonna keep trying this until I get something else to happen. Okay, never mind, you can't do it again. Alright. Take some frickin' pills, get better, so I can actually get on with it. Or Alka Seltzer, or whatever that was. Oh, just what I needed. In fact, it would seem to me that these give me just what I need at that moment in time. Oh, I see what he means. Context sensitive. Clever. Oh, I feel a lot better. Right, let's get out of here. Oh, and by the way, if for whatever reason you want to skip all these wonderful cutscenes, then just press the L button. Yeah, later on in the game when um, things get retardedly difficult and I have to start repeating things a million times, probably going to be skipping a lot of cutscenes, but obviously I'll at least watch them the one time. Do I not have the helicopter tail thing out? I guess you get that in a minute. Oh, I can't seem to get any further. I'm sure there was something. Oh, I thought he actually said more. I was wondering why that was a different font. Hold the Z button down, and I should crap. Now then, what was it? Oh yeah, press A to jump extra high. Yep. Video game controls. To do that funny helicopter tail thing. Now that makes me harder. Hmm. I should easily get across that gap. Um, are you yep, sure you I've got that? it. I can continue. Alright. So I think last time when I did this, I, like, wanted to figure something out. Because, like, if you fall down there, there's a tunnel that just mysteriously leads back up here, and it makes no sense, but it's like, I guess, implied that there's an actual tunnel that you go through that connects them that you just never really look at. But, oh, and there we go. I forgot that he skids. So now we get to actually take the tunnel that I just talked about. Yep, we go in here, and now we're magically back over here. So anyway, I would like to get out of this beginning area and get to the hub, Windy, I think it is. And we fall. I need to get used to the fact that uh, he does not seem to have perfect reaction time when you try to jump. It's like... There's a little bit of a delay. I mean, it's not a huge one. But you don't want to jump right at the edge of a cliff like you would with some other games. Going to have to get used to that because, like I said, I know that this game does actually get very difficult later. Not all of it with platforming because they do like to change up the gameplay style often, but, uh, yeah. Anyway, I think I remember this beginning part reasonably well. You just have to go in that door that I passed, but I assume you have to talk to this guy first. If 
you think you're coming this way, you can think again. Oh, you're a real charm. I just want to get past, please. No, I don't think so. I've only just got comfy. Have you ever sat on a piece of gothic architecture for 200 years? Gets right up your ass, you know. Thought it was about time to move on to a bridge, say. And I'm not moving now. Isn't it a little bit early in the day to start talking about gothic architecture? What does well, that mean? If you care to come a bit closer, we can discuss things of another nature. So, yeah. I could probably, like, attempt to float around him, but I'm assuming the game does not allow you to do that. And rather than fall down and... Never mind. I was gonna say, rather than fall down and have to climb all the way up again. That looked like a ledge. Apparently that was not a ledge. Also, apparently he did not want to actually get on the log that time. I apologize for this. Um... In later sections, if there's going to be a lot of fail, there will probably be editing. For right now, I think I'm okay, though. Also, he doesn't seem to have a faster mode of travel other than just the standard running. Which is fine. I'm used to having some annoying thing that you can do, though. Like, in Mario, constantly long jump. In Zelda, constantly roll or back walk or whatever. In Donkey Kong, not much because the characters all have kind of like an extra thing that they can do, but they're very rarely actually faster. Come here. Oh, yeah, I think you have to, like, fail a few times. There we go. Hang on. There's something missing here. Didn't I have a... Ah. 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 Try pressing B and see what that does. Um, yes. Sure you've got Press that? B. I'll come off it. We're gonna be doing this already? Okay. Wait, am I just unlocking the door that I just came in? Why? What is the point? Do I get the key again? Oh, yeah, never mind, because, yeah, getting the key just tells you that you can use the frying pan. I think that's the whole point of this. I'm going to see if I can get the key again, though, just to see if it does anything. Come on. This thing is slightly obnoxious. If I can't get it in a minute here, then I'll stop. Yeah, it looks like I'm hitting it, and it's not doing anything. Come on. Come on. Get over here. Okay, yeah, you can't get the key again. If you can, then screw it. Doesn't seem like it will do anything anyway. Okay, so you can... Wait, what? Oh, R... What? Okay, so R is first person. I was expecting it to center the camera. Is there... Oh, C... Down centers? Okay. That's different from what it usually is, but I guess that works. And C up is the equivalent of what C down usually it is, is it from what I remember. It's not letting me do it right now. Alright, let's get over here. And bash this asshole. A flying pad. You stupid little... And he dies a Disney death. <clears throat> so, uh, here's a little thing I'm going to be doing. Because, uh, obviously since I've seen this game a number of times, I am well familiar with the fact that, uh, Conker is... Usually, oh my god, why does he not freaking jump? Um, Conker is directly responsible for the uh, deaths of very, very many things in this game. So, I mean, that's that that's the case for pretty much every video game. But uh, in this game, I feel like it kind of stands out because 
everything is alive. Like, everything has the classic rareware googly eyes. And usually, like, explodes into gore when it dies. Or, like, screams or something. And because it's so... Like... Harsh. Like, compared to the cartoony style of everything. I, I feel like there needs to be a death counter. Is my main thing. So, we're gonna count that as number one. I don't know if he comes back. If he does, we can subtract one. But I'm gonna count that as number one. Why? Why you do this? Oh my god. This freaking section. Like, it's the first section of the game. And I already failed miserably at it. If I fall again, there's gonna be some editing. Hopefully, I do not fall again. It's just, I feel like he doesn't move as fast as he should. I don't know. Okay. Don't you freaking dare. Okay, if I jump from here... Yeah, it's not quite high enough. Gotta jump from the boulder, it looks like. Come on. Get up on the boulder. Can we make this jump now? What, what center is it again? I think it was like C down or something. Yeah. Okay. Make the jump. Thank you. Plunger with dynamite. Um, I think I know what's gonna happen now. Oh, oh. Yep. Fantastic. Let's go and get some shut eye. Finally. Yeah, not gonna happen. So, does this lead to Windy? I think it does. Or does it lead to a cutscene? Yup, leads to a cutscene. Gotta love the jet chair. Not gut, not gut. Look at this soil. Yes, I, I think I see the problem. I will see what I can do. She will give me a moment, though. I will come back later. Don't be too loud. Uh, I will be as quick as I can, sir. Does you know what happened last time? Uh, only too well. Oh, yes, this, uh... I, I this incident that they never refer to. Well, they refer to, but you never really find out what is up with it. And floating chocolate. Anyway. Rodents of Z World. Had to give that an explanation. Oh, you can move. Okay. Okay, so here's the part where everyone's gonna completely freaking hate me, because, uh, like I said, I've seen the game be played a few times, never played it myself. I never really got a full understanding of this place's layout, so I want to explore it for a little bit. I'm not sure how much you can actually uh, even reach yet, but I want to see where stuff is. And if there's stuff that's blocked off. Like, there's... Oh, that, that would be a uh, barbed wire fence. Probably don't want to run into that. 
Over here's a door, which is probably an exit point for some level later. It doesn't look like you can ever get in there, but don't know for sure. Up here, beehive, which I think is actually one of the first things I need to do. But uh, we'll find out, I guess. I also seem to remember this leading to money. I don't know if you'd need to do it yet, though, or if you get something later. This game doesn't really have upgrades, so... Uh... Alright. Oh, shit. Okay. So wait, did this warp me somewhere else now? Can't entirely tell where I am. You know, game, if you're gonna warp me to the other end of the world, there should probably be, like, an indicator. Jesus Christ. It's me again, Mr. Scarecrow Birdie. Right. What seems to be the problem? Oh, yeah. You need manual. Otherwise, it uh, uh, doesn't work. Manual. I cost you. Oh, how much? Uh, got any Mepsipox? What? The, the hell is Mepsipox? Yeah, I think, uh, well, uh, 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 ten dollar. Long time. You got manual, long time. Okay, well, I don't have ten dollars, so... Let me go get some chocolate. And... Continue my exploring and hopefully not get killed by dung beetles. Because I know the first section you're supposed to go to is the farm. And I want to say the farm is, like, over this way, where I'm heading right now. But I don't want to go there yet, because, like I said, I want to see where everything else is first. So, yeah, there's the Bee King. He's sad about stuff. Um, I'll talk to him in a little bit. This is boarded off. I think I, think I remember when that opens up. This area is called Windy, right? I'm not just making that up. If there's another area in the game that is called Windy and this is not it, then... Sorry if I'm wrong or stupid. These, I don't think you can get past. Let's see. Oh, no, it looks like you can. Alright, let's, uh... Come on. Gonna get some game overs very soon, most likely. Well, not game overs, but at least losing lives. I know that I don't... Jeez, okay. Yeah, I don't need to go up there yet. And now we have a scene with... Uh, yeah. We had to get this out of the way sooner or later, so might as well do it now. Shot to be a Grim Reaper? Well, how many Grim Reapers have you met before, mate? What, what am I supposed to look like? Yeah, that's a good point. Well made. Now, let's see. Ah, oh, yes. Conquer. It's like, I've seen this before, but it's still hilarious. The squirrel. The squirrel. The... Oh, bloody hell, you would have to be a sobbing squirrel, wouldn't you? Why, is there a problem with that? Well, yes, there is, actually. Like those bloody cats. Such a pain in the ass. You're one of these special cases. Oh, really? Yes. Apparently, according to the powers that be, I'm just doing my job. I do what I'm told. I don't even get paid very much. Apparently, squirrels can have as many lives as they think they can get away with. Oh, I see. So I'm not dead. You're dead, but not 
quiet. <laughs> right. Well, I'll, uh, I'll be off then. Just you wait, smart ass. You don't get out of it that easily. Now, the thing is, you may not be dead, but that doesn't mean you can't die. You just have a few more, shall we say, chances. Yeah. I just love how they have to frickin' explain the video game mechanics like this. It's like no other game does this, and it's kind of awesome. If you can get them, I'll give you an extra chance. Understand? It's like I can't tell if it's ridiculous or if it's genius. Because it's like no other game would ever attempt to explain why extra lives work. And this explanation doesn't make any goddamn sense, but at least they tried and they made it funny. Oh, can I not? Okay, never mind. Yes. Oh. <laughs> and then it gets put to the start of the dungeon. Okay, so... Oh, wait, there's a life right there. Grab that. Am I at full health? Yeah. It's like I never know if you need to or not. I guess I'll just get on with it, at least for the moment. So yeah, it's up by, uh, something. I think I was over by it before. Oh, yeah, there's these assholes. Oh my god, why? Is this the same exact cutscene as before? Yeah, it is. Okay, don't need... Why? Why you do this? <laughs> so yeah, I need to get some money, or I need to get the beehive. I'm not sure which I do first. I'll go over here, though. So my uh, goal here of learning the layout of this place is not working so well so far, because uh, I'm getting attacked by what I assume are dung beetles, but I don't really know for sure. And until I get them out of the way, I am going to continually be annoyed by them. So anyway, there's the beehive. I can grab that. Let me see if there's a uh, money up here. I thought there was. I know there's money somewhere in one of these honeycomb type things. Like, let me just see what happens if you go through. Oh, shit. What the hell is that thing? That I did not know about. Alright, um... So... I think I went in this one before, and then if I try to... No, don't attack me again, please. Again, I know I'm avoiding progress, and anybody who knows what to do is probably really pissed off. But yeah, this just leads back up to where the enemies were, and I don't need to do that. So, I'm just gonna grab the... Oh, for God's sake, I forgot about the fall damage in this game. <laughs> Best voice. Okay, if I keep running, I should be good. I think. Nope, evidently not. What did I do wrong? Am I supposed to, like, move back and forth to dodge him? I mean, that would make sense, but... Um... Okay. Okay, why am I going so slow here? Oh, I, I'm going up the hill, that's why. I need to go around the path, that makes sense. Again, you're gonna have to excuse my uh, 
ineptitude in some of these sections. It's going to be one of those uh, LPs that's probably slightly frustrating to watch if you know the game, but you're all just going to have to deal with that. Again, if it gets really bad in some sections, there will be editing. Right now, this is just futurized, though. Staying on the path. Staying on the path. And here, take your damn beehive. Gotta love the ring sound effect. So, uh, not gonna count these in the death counter, actually, because, uh, Conker did not kill them. He helped the queen bee get the hive back, and then she killed them, but that was her prerogative. So, yeah, not gonna count that. Oh, really? That doesn't surprise me. What? Nothing. Anyway, as a reward for your good service to the bee community, I present you with this. Okay, so that's how you get your money. You get a stack of $10 bills, which is probably just going to be $10. Alright, how much money do I have? Oh, I have 100 okay. Okay, hold on. The combination of the bee buzzing music and the terrible bee sprites is amazing. I love that. All right, here, Birdie, have your freaking money. There you go. There you go. Manual. Just press B. <laughs> I thought his voice changed. And then I realized it was the money. I was very confused. So I still have 100? Yeah. Okay. Slingshot? What do I have here? Instruction book. Sorry, I had to do it. Zone? And if you need it again. Then press L and B at the same time. To skip it, just press C. Okay. Oh yeah, the catapult, which is just a slingshot. I guess they call it a catapult in England or something, I don't know. And Z button to fire. That seems simple enough. Okay. Alright. Oh, I immediately forget what button to press. Aiming. So why am I going to the poop section already? I thought that wasn't until later. I don't know. We'll see where this goes, though. Come on, hit the frickin' thing. Oh my god, the aiming on this. Come on. And... I, okay. Not sure about this aiming here. There's really not much to line up with. Like, it's just... Keep going until it feels right, and then adjust. Okay, we're good. So... That just happened. Oh yeah, and I get there by going through the beehive, or do I just get... Oh, I guess I can go up here. Okay. I guess that's like an alternate path. I don't know what the point of that is, but alright.
anything over here. Looks like probably things that I don't really want to be messing with yet, but what are these? Yeah, let's, uh, let's not go by that again. I know that that's a section that you come from later. Um, I don't remember how you get rid of them. And there's another one that's blocking something, so... Oh, shit. Okay, whatever. Guess that's what I get for trying to explore things and being curious. Alright. Whatever, I'll just go to the area the game wants me to. I don't even care anymore. That did not look like a wall. Hmm, let's see. That way, or that way. Hmm, that way smells a bit too. Hmm, let me see. Hmm. Immediately disregards it. Can we actually go over here? Yeah, I just, like, why is there an entire section of this game made of poo? It's so stupid. So, I don't think you can go up here yet, because you need stuff. But, I'm going to do it anyway. At this point, I'm actually going to consider this entire thing probably just one video. I haven't even thought about splitting how it's going to split up yet, but, uh... It's like... Because I didn't want to end it at the gate, because I had already gotten that far once before. And this whole section, I feel like I'll just kind of get the lay of the land a bit. And then, yeah, that's about it. So I'm wondering what impedes your progress if you try to go this way, then. Oh, it's just closed. Okay. Why would you take it off? Ten o'clock. Ten it now. No. Well, I suppose I'll come back later then. That makes sense. The game does actually progress through like time. God, the freaking music. It's so awful. Anything up here? The impression somebody doesn't want me to be here. They certainly don't want me to go that way. Um, I think I'll go that way. Yeah. So it does happen if you try to go this way. You need to pay money. Is it safe, I wonder. Mm -hmm. Let's find out. And if you fall, that looks like that looks like a JPEG. So I don't think you can actually go down there. God, the platforming. It burns. Uh -oh. Uh oh. Yes. I think it's about to. Oh, I guess you can go down there. After uh -oh. bleeding a lot. Ah, heck. Doesn't like I'm going that way just yet. So I guess this area just naturally looks like a JPEG then. Fair enough. Also, that draw distance. Good thing that wasn't anything important. <laughs> yeah, it's like, I don't need to check all these corners, but with the draw distance, you never know. But no, I'm pretty sure there's nothing down here. So how do you get back up? I'm not seeing a ladder or anything of use. Uh... Uh, game. How do I get back up? And it turns out you just can't. Um, I'm thinking cut until I find the way back up, because I feel like a moron, but I'm not seeing a ladder. Oh, wait. Here's a rope. Okay. Okay. 
so what's the reason for not being able to go over this way other than the bridge just decided to break? I guess they repair it later on. Yeah, there's no way you can make it over. Okay, so the game has affected, effectively railroaded me to the farm area, which is fine. I know it's a fairly linear game anyway. I think there's like maybe one section you can do out of order. But even that, I'm not positive. So, let's see, does this lead to the pool where I died before? Yeah, it looks like it. So let's try to avoid as much of that as possible. And next time we will be going in there. So again, uh, sorry if a bit, a bit of a slow start, but I wanted to at least get my bearings, see what was going on, all that kind of stuff. If nobody had, if there's anyone watching who has not played the game before, then you have now seen more of it than I had from the previous LPs, at least, because I never really got a sense of where anything was in this. But anyway, I'll shut up though. Like I said, next time going in there. Bye. Aren't you a little shot to be a Grim Reaper? Well, how many Grim Reapers have you met before, mate? What, what am I supposed to look like? Yeah, that's a good point. Well made.